one of the first things that I do when I first get out of the shower, my hair is relatively still pretty wet, is I hit it with an anti-snap um, leave-in conditioner treatment. And my hair is like the ombre effect, so the ends are super, super bleached and really dry. So I definitely do a couple pumps of this stuff and put it in, run my fingers through it. And then I'll generally comb all of it through just to get all the random stray strands in my hair. I've actually cut it myself thanks to another YouTube video, and so I've actually got a bunch of different links going on. But uh, if you knew my hair, you would feel the same way that you want to cut it because it's very thick and it's very coarse. And it gets really tangled really easily. And I know that bleaching it definitely doesn't help. Now what I will do is let it go for a little while so more of the water dries out of it before I blow dry it because it's definitely not good to blow dry hair when it's soaking wet. So I'm going to let it be damp for a little while and let some of the, uh, let it air dry a little bit and then come back and blow dry and add all the other crappy products to my hair, make it all nice and full of chemicals and then um, show you the finished product. Okay, so my hair is pretty well dry at this point. I mean, it's still damp, but most of the water is dried out of it, and I towel dried a lot of that out. So before I start blow drying the crap out of my hair, I'm going to, of course, apply a heat protectant. I'm starting, I'm just coating my hair with this heat protectant, and I do comb it through. I don't know if everybody else does, but it works for me, so. And I did just color it recently, so I know that's not going to help, but okay. And I've been through my fair share of hair dryers as well. And I really can't say one's better than the other, but I did spend a little uh, chunk of change on this bad boy. This is the Sea-Doo Revolution 6000i. I know there were a few of them, and I actually did a bunch of research on YouTube, and um, I went to Falica.com and purchased this, and I really like it. It's, it's super um, powerful. So, um, I'm not really going to crank it up this time, I don't think, but it does tend to dry my hair super quick. So, I think I was able to dry my, um, use my old hair dryer, I could do it in like 10 minutes. And with this, I could pretty much dry all of it in like 5, 5 to 7, so... This is just freaking crazy. So, now that that damage is done, what I will be doing is clipping my hair up in sections and then straightening it because there's no way I could straighten all this at once. Straightening it, and as I straighten it, I'll be spraying on the um, this Redken Iron Silk. It's, it's really good for, uh, it's an ultra straightening spray, but it's really good to keep all the frizzies under control. But yeah, there's... Um, a lot going on here so oh and I'll be using my of course favorite love of my life paddle brush because no balls my favorite Place the um, power cord once, which is great, uh, is the GHD. I think it's like one of the very first ones they created, but it's the uh, professional styler with ceramic technology. tell me a way to make your hair not frizzy right out of the shower that would be freaking amazing I've tried all the oils I've tried so many different things but my hair just tends, tends to be very um I don't know it has a mind of its own I think
now for some more good old chemicals. pretty good just for some added uh, smoothness and maybe a little bit of shine I'm going to put a little bit of the Moroccan infusion oil on it you can kind of see the layers that's pretty cool though cutting your own layers yeah saving the money from having to go to the hairdresser and spending upwards of a hundred bucks. And there we have it. Didn't take too long either. Apparently this guy wasn't very interested in how I did my hair today. <laughs> Rascal.